Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Matt Antonelli here with Antonelli Softball. And today we're looking at Riley Sarton. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, I've seen a lot of her videos. She's really good. Check her out online. Um, and so this one, this is an easy way. This is the easiest way to develop really good footwork, um, really good fielding mechanics as an infielder. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just need a wall, something you could bounce a ball off of. Again, seems super simple. But you'd be surprised, maybe you wouldn't be surprised, at how many really, really good infielders that I've worked with or I've seen um, do this type of stuff. I mean, I've been in I've been in major league clubhouses with really great fielders, and they'll have a racquetball, and they'll be bouncing the ball off the wall and working on their footwork. Okay, so this is super simple. This is not just something that little kids do. All right, you can get in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reps a day, quality reps. Um, by doing this. So I wanted to show you, so here's the easy bounce off the wall, but I want to talk about the footwork that she's using because it's really, really important because it's not just about getting in the reps, but it's about getting in quality reps, right? This All this repetition that you're doing is going to create habits. It can create good habits or it can create poor habits. And so it's not just doing the work, but it's doing the work properly. And so the proper work when you're doing infield stuff is, let's talk about a few things. First thing, fielding off her left eye, right? So glove, when it goes down, it's right over her left eye. So basically, if you cut your body in half, let's see if I can do this. You cut your body in half. I want to field the ball slightly to the left of center. All right? I don't want to field the ball to the right of that line. So we say left eye. Your glove's on your left hand, if you're a right-handed thrower. Your glove's on your left hand. So if you put your glove straight down, it's going to be over your left eye. If I put it on this side of my body, well, then I've got to manipulate my hand to try to open the glove up. And then, you know, if you do that right now, my forearm, my hand, my arm, it all gets tight. Now I have hard hands, right? I have stone hands. I want to have soft hands. So put the glove right on the left side of your body. It should be right around your left eye, okay? Um, bare hand on top, fingers up, ready to deflect the ball, all right? Glove never closes. So if the ball's within the framework of my body, framework of my body within it, glove never closes. I catch the ball. Let me rephrase that. I deflect the ball. I don't close the glove above the fingers, my bare hand or my control hand comes in right here on top and just smothers the ball. Notice, glove never closes. I've got to be able to deflect with two hands if I'm a good infielder. Ball's outside the framework of my body, one hand, catch it. Within, two hands, deflect. Okay? She brings the ball to the middle of her body. Elbows out, thumbs up, ball to the middle, transfers in the middle. Okay? Let's look at the footwork. Right to left. Oh, excuse me, right left field, right left field. The timing is you sh your left toes should hit the ground when that ball is entering the glove and being deflected. That promotes rhythm through the ball, creates direction and distance towards your target. This is a huge thing. We've talked a lot about this. Go watch our other videos on this. Too many infielders feel flat-footed. Their foot gets in the ground like this, and the ball's way out here. And now the ball's playing them. And then if they do catch it, they're stopped. They have no momentum, right? So you want to feel your toes coming down as the ball's entering the glove. A lot of infielders will go heel first, right? So it's heel-toe. It's not whole foot. It's heel-toe because that toe, see how it gets her moving through the ball? It's subtle, but it's very key. Notice flat back, right? I tell all our players, I want to be able to iron a shirt off your back. Most of them look at me and go, what does iron mean? I'm like, never mind. I want, to, I want you to pretend that you're a kitchen table and I want to eat dinner right off your back. 
okay? I've got to be able to lay my plate right here. Flat back. If I get flat back, my eyes get in the action, right? My hands can get out front. I've got to be able to see the ball and my glove in the same view at the same time, right? I always got to be able to see both. If I can only see my the ball and I can't see my glove, usually that means your back isn't flat. That usually means your back is vertical and your hands get hidden underneath, okay? So it's flat back. It's flat back, butt up. If you go butt down, your back is going to look like this, okay? So I hear a lot of infield people say, get your butt down if the ball goes under them. Get the butt down, get the butt down. It's not get your butt down, it's get your back flat. So back flat, butt up, hands get out front, eyes get down in the action. Okay? Let's go back one more. After I field it, right to left, left to target. So it's right, left field, right, left throw. Right, le whoops. Right, left field, right, left throw. Okay? And then she works in backhands, back to regular. But again, notice her footwork, right? So she's very good. She played at a high level. But look at all the work she's getting in here. And if you want to be great, you've got to put the work in. And it's got to be quality work, detail work, focused Focusing on every little thing. You should put the camera like she does. See, so she has a camera here. Now she's putting this, I don't know, on Instagram or something. I don't know. Someone sent this to me. I'm not sure where it came from. But you should videotape yourself because, you know, even like six-year-olds have iPhones now. So set the phone up. Videotape yourself. Feel the hundred balls. Go back and watch it. Break it down. Watch this video. Make a little checklist. Did I feel that over my left eye? Did I have a flat back? Did I bring the ball to the middle? Did I deflect? Did I have right to left footwork? Did I field off my left foot? Did I, you know, check, 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 check. Oh, nope, didn't do these few things. Okay, let's go back out. Let's focus on these. If you do that, you're going to be a real special player. Right? So it's not rocket science. It's not, no, it's not rocket science. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to get much better at infield play. But it will take work. But you can do it. So that's all I've got. Hopefully that helps you out. We could talk we could go over this video and talk about probably for an hour. But I want to give you some of the main stuff right there. Go check her uh go check her stuff out. She's got a lot of good stuff. And uh, like I said, if you just watch her and try to mimic her, you're gonna get better because she does a lot of things really, really well. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.